isolation is what allows us to bind our controller with our view. With this double curly syntax right here, let's just use it to output a string. As we can see, it's very easy to use. We can use it to output directly controller variables. Let's just create a controller variable message and output it inside this interpolation block. As we can see, it's very simple to output controller variables to our template. We can use in general inside an interpolation block any valid JavaScript expression as long as it's an expression and not a statement. For example, this would evaluate as expected to true. Because we can use any valid JavaScript expression, you can also use the JavaScript ternary operator. Let's give an example. We add a controller variable condition, set it to true, and now we can use it inside an interpolation block. So if the, con if the condition is truthy, we will output the string truthy, otherwise we will output falsy. Of course, when we refresh the template, we will see that truthy is printed to the screen. Now, we don't have to call member variables only. We can also call functions. Let's call here a calculated value function that simply returns a string. If we now refresh the page, we can see that the output is as we expected. Now, we don't have to use a function for a calculated value if we don't want to. We can use a TypeScript getter and uh, get rid of this uh, parenthesis for maybe a slightly more readable uh, interpolation expression. What happens if we try to output the property of a variable that does not exist? In this case, vm view model dot message vm does not exist. As we can see, Angular throws an error. It says cannot read property message of undefined. vm is undefined. We can work around this using the Elvis operator, which is available to us inside an interpolation block. This is not standard JavaScript. As we can see, the error is gone, but nothing is outputted. The way that this works is that Angular detects that VM is undefined and as such, it will not try to evaluate the JavaScript expression VM.message. Now, one last thing about the template syntax for interpolation. Because it's a plain JavaScript uh, expression, actually it's even better because we have the Elvis operator available. We can give it a default value by using the JavaScript or operator.